Ava here at Garden Hills, and I've been teaching, this is my seventh year teaching. The primary way we use technology in our classroom right now is um, our smart board. Uh, we got those two years ago when we had our building was remodeled. And we use that every day. It, we almost use it like a digital whiteboard. I mean, there are times that's all we're using it for. Sometimes we're pulling up um, documents, we're pulling up videos, you know, we're still learning all the things we can do with it. Um, as computers have been, you know, like I said, we're getting to the point where there's the new generations have all grown up with a lot of technology. So I would guess that I mean, there's always going to be things people are still have to learn, but I think we're hopefully getting past the point where you have people who grew up with nothing like that and who have no knowledge. The learning curve maybe isn't going to be as steep. Um, I mean, I'm just thinking of like people your age or even a little older. You know, it's there's there's still a lot to, can always be a lot to learn, but you have a bigger background knowledge to fall on than you know somebody who didn't have that. Um, in the ideal world, we would have little mini laptops or something where every child can access a computer at the same time. Because one thing when we remodeled, we lost we did have a computer lab and now we don't. So we have five desktops. And then my laptop, which I really don't like to let the kids use because that's really more my teacher thing. So if we're doing a class project and I've got 18 students and five computers, obviously it takes time to get everybody through on the computer. Um, I would like, to, I have um, a digital camera that was donated to, each of us had one that was donated to us last year, which was very generous, but it's not the best digital camera. Um, you know, it does, it does something, but I would love to have access to really nice digital cameras or video camera, something so the kids could learn to videotape. Now, for example, like the smart board, there's still tons of stuff that I know I could be doing that I don't know how to do. It's We've had some training. Um, the really cool thing right now is for the district has um, developed some technology workshops, professional development that's either before school, after school. Um, I think it's really geared at the three magnet schools which were one of um, in the district. The problem with it is it's all great, but it's like, it's one more thing to do. And honestly, you know, sometimes, like I am doing one a couple mornings a month where I come in early and it's about making movies or making videos, we, whatever, that, those kind of things. But it's time consuming, you know, and, um, but I think most teachers are really open to learning. This school, when we were remodeled, we were given a lot of great technology things. But just, as I said, we still only have like five computers in the classroom, which is a lot, but it's not enough to do group things. So it would be great in that capacity. But there are a lot of schools who are not anywhere near as technology up to date as we are, which is kind of hard to imagine on my part right now. But um, so that's going to be a great thing. I think there's just a lot of kids out there that aren't being exposed to enough technology of funds. Um, you know, you can only get so many things donated and then 